Hello and welcome, everyone. We're Rong Hao Liang and Zheng Ronggo from TU Anhofen. We are thrilled to present Texel Mask, a facial expression recognition system using Texel Electro on Kamali face mask. Texel Mask looks and functions like a normal face mask, but with the added benefit of recognizing the wearer's facial expressions, it also displays the wearer's expressions of for others to see, which is especially helpful when facial expressions are otherwise occluded by the mask. Our motivation of Tesla Mask was to address the problem of face mask occlusion. While wearing face mask is important for reducing the spread of the pandemic, they also come with the challenges such as obscuring people's faces and voices, which can hinder social interactions. Industrial solutions like face shields and transparent masks have been proposed, but face shields are not effective in blocking aerosols and emissions, so people often wear another mask underneath. On the other hand, transparent masks have been developed to improve visibility, but they can look unfamiliar and might be a little bit socially awkward. Pyroworks recognize facial expressions while wearing a commodity face mask, including wearables with miniature cameras, adding sensors, or deploying sensors on face masks. But these approaches have limitations such as sensitivity to lighting conditions, privacy issues, and obtrusiveness. In this paper, we propose using textile electrode embedded in the face mask as a new approach to make the system more inclusive and less obtrusive. Our first design principle is to keep the original functions, looks, and feels of the commodity face mask to preserve the wearer's normal appearance. To achieve this, we apply conductive yarn that is highly conductive, stretchable, and washable, and use the following three methods to integrate the yarn into the face mask. First method involves manual sewing to keep the yarn floating on the inner layer of the face mask without punching through the outer layer. A second method also involves not only manual sewing but also sandwiching the textile electrode between the inner and outer layer for maximum comfort, but it takes longer to fabricate. A third method involves machine sewing the textile electrode for faster fabrication, but it may reduce the face mask filtration effectiveness due to the upper thread punching through both layers of fabric. We use this method to deploy a dense metric of textile electrode for mutual capacitance sensing. We deliberately avoid the diamond-like pattern to preserve both stretchability and breathability. The signal-to-noise ratio are still sufficient for all fabrication methods. Regarding electrode density, a metric of at least 6 by 11 is also sufficient. Our second design principle is to support both short-term and long-term use. For short-term comfort, we have ensured that the augmented face mask is breathable and complies with the WHO's recommended level as objectively measured using a standard procedure. For long-term maintenance, we have kept the face mask as a fully passive component without adding any active electronics and tested its washability. The third design principle is to support on-demand use, giving users the freedom to decide when to use the system. Therefore, the feedback mechanism is separate from the face mask itself and located on a wearable device that's closer to the user's face. This device is not constrained by the mask form and can integrate machine learning, conductivity, a display with longer battery life, and provide a manual switch for user control. Tesla Mask uses an edge machine learning classifier to process the capacity sensor image and predict facial expressions. This enables the system to be fully self-contained and mobile, providing a more wearable, effective display and communicating with external devices using low bandwidth. To showcase textile mask capabilities, we developed two live emoji applications for face mask wearers online or offline conversation. The online live emoji is suitable for video conferencing with face mask wearers in public areas. It appears as a call album next to the user's face and can be easily turned on or off using the GUI. The offline live emoji is for face-to-face -face conversations where a live emoji is displayed on a necklace with an LED metric which the user can turn off. Two user studies were conducted to test the reliability of Tesla mask during operation. Study 1, we tested the reliability of Tesla mask during operation with 8 users through 1 hour of multi-session data collection, and we found that using a personal classifier with the training session, the system accurately recognized 5 facial expressions in real time with an SVM classifier. It achieved a mean accuracy of approximately 90% using only 6 data points per expression. Errors mainly involve false negatives, recognizing expressions as neutral, which are not problematic in social contact. Second, 
the system could recognize three additional mouse expressions without impacting the performance of identifying emotion-related expressions. Increasing the number of data points for training improved the mean recognition accuracy to approximately 95%, indicating that the system's performance improves over time. Linear SVN performed better than other comparable classifiers in terms of accuracy and efficiency, and the SVN classifier used for edge computing only requires more memory on our microcontroller and had an average prediction time of 70 milliseconds for recognizing five facial expressions. This suggests that the prototype can recognize these expressions at 12 frames per second or at a lower frequency to conserve energy. Cross user classifiers where users did not train the model achieved roughly 70% accuracy, but accuracy varies among users. Individual differences in expressing emotions as well as factors like gender, region, and obesity that impact facial dimensions could affect system accuracy. In study 2, we examined the usefulness of two live emoji applications. The same like structure interviewed and the user experience questionnaire showed that the user support our motivation found the applications useful. Please refer to the paper for further details. Finally, we address the implications and current limitations of our study and possible directions for future research. Tesla mask can function as an accessory for hands-free control of mobile devices such as controlling a music playlist by bulging one cheek without sending an incorrect emoji. At present, Texomass only recognizes explicit intentional actions rather implicit emotion conveyed by unintentional or unseen facial expressions. Also, displaying mixed feeling is more difficult than displaying a simple emoji. The signal processing and machine learning technique utilized in TesoMass are not the most advanced. We experiment with the convolutional neural network classifier based on mobile net. The training process was time consuming and its performance was worse than the SVM. Therefore, we have shared our experimental dataset for further tuning with deep learning methods. Moreover, having a one time personalized training on the personal face mask is comparable to training face ID for unlocking smartphone, which is not a serious obstacle. Not Nonetheless, we encourage further research to, into training a more inclusive cross-user classifier. Furthermore, we have not incorporated a mechanism to adjust to the condition that may affect sensing factors such as the user's skin conditions, body grounding, and environment could impact TexoMath's long-term performance in real-life situations. Classifiers that support on-device training and transfer learning could facilitate further adaptation to these conditions. Lastly, regarding fabrication methods, suing is an accessible prototyping approach for researchers to reproduce our findings or customize the form further. For improved scalability and replicability, we suggest that future work incorporate textile electrodes through weaving and kneading. To summarize, we have introduced a new facial expression recognition system that embodied our design principles. We have also acknowledged its limitation and the proposed future direction. Our findings and suggestions aim to encourage more research in creating socially inclusive interfaces beyond pandemic-related health applications with face masks. Thank you for your attention.